What's the chat want? What's the chat what, want? What kind of horrible How do you guys want to start food? this one off? We'll do two more today. Let's see. Could have Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees football kick Chunky. What? Chucky? Chucky? We could do that. Let's go meet okay. Freddy Krueger. Let's go make friends with a bunch of uh, uh, killers. Okay. And Jason Voorhees. You find yourself in a dark alley. With the sounds of screams and scratching echoing through the air. Suddenly, a man with a burnt face and razor gloves <laughs> appears before like you. Yeah. Welcome to my nightmare, he sneers. Freddy Krueger stands in your way, blocking your path. What do you do? Okay, for those that are asking, this is called AI Story Quest. This is an actual website you have to go to. Uh, I'm going to try to make friends with Freddy Krueger. Have Jason show up, too. He's next. It's good to know that, you know, Freddy's been, you know, kind of getting beefed. He's getting strong. He's, he's super Freddy. Oh, God. Freddy chuckles as you extend a hand in friendship. You know, I like you, he says. Most people are too scared to talk to me. Want to join me in terrorizing the neighborhood? Freddy offers you his hand. Ready to show you a night of gruesome fun. What do you choose? Really, this is going to be allowed, but but us making a bunch of dick jokes aren't. Yeah, no, that's one thing I don't understand quite, quite. Um, unless it just doesn't want that voice saying what horrible things it would do. Dang it. You need, like, an uncensored You take Freddy's hand, emboldened by your newfound confidence. The two of you set off. Slashing through the night and terrorizing the unsuspecting citizens. At? Take but his soon, hand. You begin to feel the, the darkness only goes seeping by into your mind. And you realize so, that you Freddy, might not be able Freddy to control that, Freddy's bloodlust. Do you try to break away from him or continue down the path of destruction? No, I'm trying to actually figure out what the picture has to do with what we wrote. Yeah, no, I I really don't understand it. I know there's hands there. So I I, I, I don't know. Is it saying to, like, take... It, is are his hands being stolen? Like I don't. I, there's some. There's a lot of hands in that picture. I just don't know what's. There you go. Jason you get Vor your man. Hey, Jason Voorhees. We'll see if we can if we can figure it out. I'll fix it. Ah, uh, that would be interesting <laughs> if it did. I've done it. I befriended Freddy. I'm happy. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta form the, the, the evil serial killer Justice League. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. As you and Freddy continue to wreak havoc on the town, the sound of heavy footsteps can be heard. Emerging from the shadows is another iconic figure. A masked man wielding a machete. Looks like <laughs> we've got company, Freddy says with a grin. The three of you begin to work together, leaving a trail of destruction in your wake. However... As the night goes on, you begin to question if the cost of the carnage is worth it. It is. What will you do? Continue. Uh, so okay, how do you like so... the reboot of uh, Jason's style? I think it's a little bit avant-garde, but I think the mask uh, works. I need more of the hockey mask and less of the fedora, but I can live with it. Um, so who do we want to lump into this thing next? So I guess Michael Myers would be the next logical choice. Unless you want to have them punt Chucky. Uh, you need to say who, otherwise it's just going to show you kick Chucky instead of who's kicking Chucky. Who wh who do you want to kick him? Uh, well, I mean, Freddy doesn't have super strength. But that, that is up to the chat. Voorhees. God, fine! Yeah, that drives you crazy, doesn't it? Well, it's because I know that it... V-O-O-R... O-O-R... H-E-E-S... We really need to do a reading of how to survive a horror movie. Just as you are questioning the morality of your actions, Chucky, the notorious killer doll, 
suddenly jumps out from a nearby alleyway, attempting to join in on the spree. But before he can even draw his knife, Jason Voorhees springs into action, swiftly kicking Chucky into a nearby wall. We don't need any other amateurs getting in on our fun, Jason gruffly states. The three of you, you continue talk. forward, unfazed by the interruption. Where will your path of destruction lead you next? Maybe well, I mean, never had well, actually, technically, if you go down the canon timeline, he actually does gain the ability to talk. He just never had anyone to talk to. Okay, people want us to throw Alf other, in. Other than his mom. Alf? The, the, the puppet? Oh, God. Okay. Alf, Alf shows up. I'm just doing what the chat wants. Alf might die. As you and your companions are walking through the dark streets, a small, furry alien suddenly jumps out from a nearby dumpster. Hey, oh God. cool. What are you guys up to? Alf says with a curious look on his face. Freddy, Jason, and you all stop. Unsure of how to react to this unexpected guest, Alf seems harmless enough. But can you really trust him? Do you let Alf join in on your rampage, Fuck or do yeah. you tell him to leave? Is he going to start killing people? I need to see this happen. Alf starts killing people. I actually want to see what that looks like. That'll be like. the next line. I promise. It, it's you kind decide of like a to let Alf thing. join in on your rampage. Though he seems out of his element at first, he quickly proves himself to be surprisingly capable. Using his small size and agility to slip in and out of tight spots. As the night wears on, the four of you continue to sow fear and destruction, leaving a trail of chaos in your wake. However, as the sun begins to peak over the horizon, you realize that the night has come to an end. Do you part ways with your new friends or do you stick together for more adventures? We stick together for more adventures. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm curious what that picture's gonna look like. As the sun rises, you and your companions realize that you're not ready for the night to end. The four of you band together, inspired by the stunning destruction you caused in just one night. Together, you form a deadly alliance. And together, you vow to dominate the world. You set out on your quest, determined to wreak havoc on everything in your path. But as you continue down your path of destruction, you begin to realize that with great power comes great responsibility. No. Will you continue <laughs> on your quest for world domination? Or will you change your ways and use your powers for good? Have you noticed this AI keeps trying to push us to be good? Yes, it does. We're not going to be. <laughs> And then Pinhead head showed up. That's what I was about to ask. It was either going to be Pinhead or Michael. Pinjet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hate this shit. It tries to make you be good. You As you and your campaigns. tormentor group continue down your path of destruction, a portal suddenly opens in front of you. Out from it emerges Pinhead, the leader Damn. of the demonic Cenobites. He approaches you with a sly grin and extends an invitation yeah, to like join Pinhead. his army of evil. With his powers over pain and pleasure, you can already imagine the destruction you can cause together. Do you accept Pinhead's invitation and join his forces or do you turn it down and continue on your current path? Fuck you, you're mine. Yes. Yes. It's like collecting with Pokemon. I'm okay with this. General of Hell. I wish they could have you actually You decide done to this. extend an offer to Pinhead to join your growing army of evildoers. 
and he agrees to join forces as your general. You can feel his otherworldly powers of pain and pleasure augmenting your abilities. And together you are an unstoppable force that causes destruction and chaos wherever you go. However, as your power and influence grow, so do your enemies. And soon you find that you have attracted the attention of heroes who seek to stop your reign of terror. With Pinhead at your side, are you able to overcome these challenges and cement your place as masters of the dark forces? Or will you meet your downfall at the hands of the forces of good? Uh, all right, so who else do we want to add to this shit show? We already had Chucky come in. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Yep. I will have the greatest army As of you villains. prepare to unleash your army of evil, you feel a strange presence in the air. And suddenly Pyramid Head appears from the shadows. <laughs> oh, come on. You realize that you have summoned him unknowingly, as the others. seeking to amplify your power. However, Pyramid Head is notoriously difficult to control. And you must be careful not to let him turn on you or your comrades. As he towers above you, you can feel the weight of his brutal strength. And you begin to wonder if you have made a grave mistake by bringing him into your fold. I'm going to do a really... Will you be able to keep Pyramid Head under control and use his fearsome power for your own gain? Or will he turn against you and bring your plans crashing down? <laughs> One of my friends goes, I was watching, but it got too surreal. Dear God. I'm going to do a really stupid request from a friend. Okay. Oh. This is how you make him part of your team. Obviously. As you step forward to embrace Pyramid Head, his massive frame fills your vision, and you feel an overwhelming sense of fear and anticipation. But as your arms wrap around him, you are surprised to feel him embrace you as well. His strong grip crushing you against his massive armor. Maybe it was a mistake you thought. But you feel the tension in Pyramid Head's body begin to relax. And you realize that perhaps he is just as lonely and isolated as you are. In this moment, you both find comfort in each other's embrace. And a brief moment of peace settles over the dark dungeon. We did it, guys! Okay. We collected Pyramid okay. Head! All right. Um. All right. So, what else we got here? What What other stupid things are we gonna Are we gonna try and join into the, into this massive insanity? Um. We'll take one more villain, and then we got to start fighting the heroes. Uh. Well, I mean, Michael Myers, I think, is the, the only other big one that's remaining. Hmm. Somebody said the dialects. Let's see. We could do the Joker. Ill man. <laughs> in honor of a cow browning i just want to see what this looks like i don't this is gonna be horrific Probably, okay yeah. okay we'll get two more people want leatherface too fair enough right. oh i forgot about leatherface yeah. journey deeper into the dungeon you come now across a, a strange creature wandering aimlessly through the halls it's a gilman what? a fish-like humanoid creature that is both powerful and unpredictable you see this as an opportunity to add another ally to your team and recruit the Gilman as your own. As you approach the creature, you can feel its gaze on you. And you know that any sudden movements could trigger an attack. You quickly explain your cause and your mission to the Gilman. Hoping to win him over. And to your surprise, he shows great interest in joining you. As the newest member of your team. The Gilman proves to be invaluable in navigating the watery depths of the dungeon and fighting off any aquatic foes you encounter. Okay. What? What? Final member. Why does... Okay, so yeah, they said they wanted Leatherface? Yep. Leatherman. That's not the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
Oh, God. All I could think about <laughs> was a gift showing up. I think one of my friends is having a fucking seizure in the chat because of this. He's just watching. No, we'll do we'll do a Star Trek one another time. We'll do a sci-fi one. Let's keep this one uh, up, guys. They want oh, the to. Animal. As they you and to. your team continue through the dungeon, you come across a terrifying figure carrying a chainsaw. Leather face. <laughs> you can see that he is badly damaged and appears to be looking for a new group to join. Even though Leatherface is notorious for his brutal and ruthless behavior. And adding him to your team would be a great advantage. You also know that his reputation precedes him. And he may be more trouble than he is worth. You take a few moments to consider your options before making a decision. Although Leatherface's skill with a chainsaw could prove deadly in combat, <laughs> his violent okay. nature is definitely a potential risk for you all. Finally, you decide that you can't risk having Leatherface's instability rocking what? the boat so you decline no, bullshit. the offer, but not before getting some information on other ways to find reinforcements on your quest. Bullshit! Take him anyway. You don't get to tell me who I can have join my army. This is an AI. <laughs> the AI had enough of our bullshit? Not yet. As you approach Leatherface, you put on your most charming smile and decide to try a different approach. You remark on how impressive and striking his appearance is. Complimenting his leather mask and how his muscles bulge under his clothes. The AI can't figure out you image. then offer him the opportunity no, to join your army, knowing that his formidable strength and force of will would be a boon to your efforts. Your flattery seems to have an effect, and leather face appears to warm to you. In a low, gravelly voice, he agrees to join your team, demanding only the chance to show off his chainsaw in battle. You all welcome him. However, you are still wary of his unstable and unpredictable nature. You hope that your kind words are enough to keep him on a tight leash. And that his savage tendencies don't cause trouble for your team down the line. Let's go hunt some good guys. Mm-hmm. I finally figured out how to make the lag go away with the loading and everything. It's kind of wonky. Okay, that'll be the next one. As you lead your army of evil deeper into the dungeon, you set your sights on a group of heroes who have made it their mission to protect the innocent and defeat your dark forces. You order your minions to hunt them down and bring them to you. Alive if possible. But if not, dead will suffice. The hunt begins. And your minions spread out. Tracking the heroes' movements and laying traps along the way. The heroes put up a good fight. But they are outnumbered and outmatched by your army. Soon, they are cornered. Their weapons and spells proving useless against your unstoppable force. You capture them and bring them before you. Relishing in the fear and despair evident on their faces. You feel a sense of triumph as you gloat over your victory knowing you have just eliminated some of your greatest threats. But your victory may prove short-lived as the heroes have allies who will not rest until they are rescued and you are defeated. Okay, kill all the heroes. Hold on, hold on. Somebody wants this one specifically. Okay. What is it? A giraffe shows up? Panda? Paladin? Name Joe. <laughs> Pescapo. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I don't. I don't think that's how you spell Pesci. How do you spell that? Because that's how they spell. Hang, hang, hang on a second. Well, I'm I, I'm double checking myself. I don't think that's how you spell. This is so stupid. Thank you, developers. This is going to be our new favorite. Oh, okay. Movie. That that is how you spell P E S C I. So that is how you spell Pesci. Okay. 
Okay. This is gonna be magic. You motherfucker! <laughs> and that's literally the only thing I can As say from his character in Good Fellas. Everything over else the group of heroes. You suddenly hear the sound of footsteps approaching from the shadows. From out of the darkness steps a paladin named Joe Pesky, a renowned holy warrior known to be implacable in battle, standing firmly against the powers of darkness with a fierce determination. He is here with a mission to stop your evil plans and save the imprisoned heroes. You recognize the threat he poses to your army and quickly order your minions to attack. Joe Pesky, however, is undaunted by your minions. And with a wave of his hand, he calls down the power of the divine that surrounds him. Your minions are no match for the righteous fury of Joe Pesky's holy power. And one by one, they fall under his blade. You realize that he is a formidable adversary. But even more pressing is the fact that he may have already freed the imprisoned heroes. You'll have to be quick and crafty if you hope to defeat him. And resume your plans of darkness. Hmm. I got what to do. Okay. Okay. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I love this. This is going to be our new, like, end of stream thing. It's got to be. As you realize that Joe Pesky may prove to be too formidable to face head-on, you recall a being with the power to manipulate even the strongest minds. Pinhead. You summon him forth and offer him a deal. Corrupt Joe Pesky's mind. And in return, you will offer him an even greater source of pain and pleasure than he has ever experienced before. Pinhead. Always seeking new avenues for his sadistic malice. Gleefully agrees to your proposal. With his twisted magic. He works his influence on Joe Pesky. Tempting him with power and control. And exploiting the paladin's weaknesses. At first. Joe Pesky resists the corruption. But soon he finds himself giving in to the temptation. Leaving behind his holy pursuit in exchange for the powers of the dark arts. As he falls ever deeper into depravity and corruption. You realize that you may have just created an even more dangerous adversary than you anticipated. Okay, I'm gonna take one that somebody sent me. Okay. This is so dumb. That one did not give you a picture. Yeah, I know. Oh, I think we're breaking this thing slowly. Okay. Oh god, Alf is brutal. <laughs> Fucking Alf, man. You don't fuck with him. Break your kneecaps. As you revel in your victory over the paladin Pesky and your minions capture the last of the heroes. You hear a sudden commotion from the shadows. And before you can react, a small creature appears before you. Introducing himself as Alf. He offers his services to you. Claiming that he can exterminate the heroic group once oh, and for all. Change. In exchange for a place among your ranks. Skeptical. You initially decline. Questioning his combat abilities against such valiant warriors. However. Alf insists. Pleading for a chance to prove himself. With some hesitation. You permit him the opportunity to take out the heroes. To your surprise, Alf proves to be more than capable in combat. With an impressive arsenal of advanced weapons and gadgets, he effortlessly takes out the group of heroes. And their screams of agony echo throughout the dungeon halls. You realize in that moment, that Alf's power and ruthlessness could just serve your cause well. <laughs> And you offer him a place among your ranks. When he accepts, you feel a new sense of certainty in your <laughs> impending victory. As you prepare to unleash Alf's deadly skills on any who oppose you. Yeah, what no, the, the AI has fuck? literally forgotten who's in our group. I think it resets after the adventure quote-unquote ends. 
and it, it, it starts again afterwards because it seemed like it didn't know Pinhead either because he just kind of showed up. I know it's not so, even closed out. So I, I, I think after you end the narrative, after it ends at a certain point in the narrative, it resets all of like the keywords and shit. So what should we do next? Alf is ugly as sin. <laughs> Alf got shaved. I mean, I think we've... I think we've gotten to the point where this one's pretty much at an end. Do we want to start another one now? or Let's just finally take over the world. Okay. Over the world. Well, shit. We've taught the AI that one thing's true. Humans are absolutely stupid. This is true. We are incredibly dumb. With your army of evil growing stronger and fiercer by the day. You begin to set your sights on the ultimate goal. Taking over the world. You order your minions to scout the land. Gather intelligence. And spread fear and terror wherever they go. Your forces pillage villages. Loot cities. And instill fear and despair across the world. You mercilessly crush any resistance. Your power and influence growing with each passing day. Your enemies fall like leaves. Unable to withstand your unstoppable force. You think back to all the allies you've made. The dark beings you've summoned. And the unparalleled horrors you've unleashed. And you know that your success has been made possible because of them. As the last of your foes falls before you. You realize that you have accomplished what you set out to do. You sit upon your throne. Reveling in your newfound power and dominance upon the world. But even as you bask in your triumph. You realize that maintaining your hold on this world will take greater effort. For there will always be those who will plot against you. Seek to overthrow you. And undo your dark legacy. But you are not afraid. For you have survived everything that fate has thrown at you so far. And you vow to rule over the world with an iron grip. Reigning in darkness and terror for eternity. And we've won everybody. Let me start the Yay. next recording. Okay, so we're going to do one more today, everybody. So... Good night. Good night. Good night.